Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Friday again, and uh, it's Peyton. In case you don't remember from last week, or maybe you didn't watch, this is Willow. Isn't she cute? Uh, yeah, so this week's topic is compare yourself now to when you were first coming out. That was six years ago for me. I was a... It was in between my freshman and sophomore year of college. I, uh... was 18. Met a girl named Angelini. Playing pool at a bar. And... That was that. Um... Prior to meeting this individual, I was never really the, I don't want to say relationship type, I just didn't really see the point in it. I wasn't, like, I was attracted to people, you know, um, I always had an attraction towards women, uh, but I just, I didn't really think much about relationships and sex and everything else, you know, I was just kind of doing my own thing. Uh, I was a relaxed individual, didn't really go out to parties much, uh, or anything like that. You know, I had my share of fun, I had friends, I had gay friends, I had straight friends, I had religious friends, I had not religious friends. I was just a normal human being, I just never really thought about dating or anything like that. And that summer, I met Angelini, and pretty much everything made sense after that it was like no wonder you know like no wonder I didn't have a boyfriend or didn't want a boyfriend or wasn't seeking a relationship you know like I didn't know I didn't seek it so after my experience with Angelini I kind of just moved on from there I was a little crazy as a young uh, person coming out you know and uh, I went a little nuts with it, I would say, probably a little overboard, probably did some things that I shouldn't have, but whatever. Um, I didn't, like, come out to my family, so to speak. Uh, they kind of just asked me about it, you know, like, my mom was like, are you dating anybody? And I'm like, no. And she's like, well, if you were, would it be a girl? And I was like, yeah. That was pretty much the extent of my coming out. Um, I'm not really close with my family, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess if I had to compare myself now to then, I would say that I've just reached, uh, like Emily was saying, you know, uh, a level of maturity where it's just, it's not really about my sexuality or my sexual preferences or my gender identity it's more about like this is who I am I am Peyton and I love women you know or I love female bodied individuals um I have never physically been with a guy I dated a guy uh in between dating women and it was odd because like I loved him to death but like the physical connection was not there like I, I found it disgusting to kiss him and we never had sex you know it just really wasn't my thing so I think that going on from there I've just really come to uh, this understanding with myself where I'm like I'm comfortable not having a gender identity. I'm comfortable not having a sexual identity. I'm comfortable saying I'm Peyton. I'm in love with Lane, who I happen to be dating and I hope is my life partner. And that's that. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, then to now, more maturity, life experience, self-acceptance. That's pretty much it. Have a good weekend.